Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show, where we talk with community leaders every week. And this week, we've got one of the most famous faces in the state of Missouri here. We've got Coach Gary Pinkle. Thank you, Coach, for taking the time to come join us on Lake TV. Happy to be here with you. Good. Uh, I see you're still wearing the colors. Go, go, yeah, Tigers! Yeah, I'll always right? be a Missouri Tiger, you know, under, under any and all circumstances. And it was, a, you know, we were, I was here 15 years. And we had a great run. Uh, and uh, but um, I'm Tiger throughout, through, in, in and out. Through and through, absolutely, man. So uh, a lot of people don't know that you are the winningest football coach in Mizzou history. Mm -hmm. Right, so there's a reason why people know who you are when you walk around. But uh, you're also in the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, St. Louis Hall of Fame, Mid American Conference Hall of Fame, Toledo Athletics Hall of Fame, the Kent State Athletics Hall of Fame. Not just Mizzou, you've been a winner everywhere you've been. It's been quite a run for you. Well, I had a great mentor in Don James, who I played for at Kent State. Uh, Jack Lambert was on that team. Oh my! And a guy named Nick Saban was on that team. Wow. And uh, so I worked for him at Washington, but he was kind of the guy that really got me into uh, considering getting into coaching. And uh, one of the greatest things about me, and I'm so blessed that I've, I've always been surrounded by good people my whole life. Yeah, and that makes a huge difference. It's a, it's a mammoth difference. And yeah. that's, uh, and I'm pretty good at selecting people and dealing with people. And that's at the end of the day, that's why it's given us a chance to be successful. Absolutely. You brought up Don James, uh, Coach James, uh, legendary really uh, and think he had a lot of success at university of washington yeah, right yeah and, and i was there with him there i was there 12 years with him yeah the last seven years coaching quarterbacks and then i became head coach at toledo then i came to missouri but uh he was a huge impact on me and, and everybody and you know, he's in the college football hall of fame and yeah a remarkable man also so what was it that coach james taught you or showed you uh, that made such a huge difference where you're in all of these Hall of Fames and the winningest head coach at two different schools, I think, not just Mizzou, but K Toledo as well. Yes. Well, I think one thing you learn from him, it's, it's all about people. It's being organized and it's about accountability. It's about caring about people, uh, demanding excellence. You know, I can keep going on and on and on. Yeah. But all those things. And he was an organizational genius I and mean, he was an incredibly organized. So every I was dotted, every T was crossed, and everything we did in organization, self-evaluation after everything you do, make yourself better, and uh, move on to the next. And, and so we learned many, many things from him. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was, again, it was a blessing. And I also had a great high school coach, Dick Fortner, and won the only championship when I was in high school, the only championship in the history of the school yeah. at the time, uh, over a 40-year period of time. Uh, we won a championship. I go to Kent State, we just talked about that, and we win we were playing for Don James. We were the only championship in the history of Kent State University. <laughs> you know, why does this stuff happen to me? So I've, I've been blessed. You have been blessed. There's no doubt about it. Of course, you've played a role in that, too. Uh, such amazing success at such a young age. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, because you're still a young guy and you retired uh, young. Uh, was that your choice? Um, was it just time to retire? Uh, why did you step out so early? Well, for, I just signed a six-year contract, and um, I was I, 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 I got cancer, so I have you know I have uh, lymphoma. There are 99 types of lymphoma. I have one of them. I, it'll always be with me. I have it. But for me, it all became time. Yeah. I got eight grandkids. You know, I got th you know three kids and the spouses and Missy's two kids and and uh, my big thing was I did not I want to use my time right. Yeah. And I thought, you know, and I love coaching. I never, ever considered at all about retiring. But I don't know what's going to happen with me the 5, 10, 15 years. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Right. But I just don't want to say, did you spend, did you spend your time right, Gary Pinkle? Are you still going to work, you know, you know, 60, 70 hours a week, 40 weeks out of the year? Because that's what we work. Right. Instead of playing, doing more things with your family or, and everything else. And so me, I chose to retire and uh, had no plan. But at the end of the day, it uh, you know it was worked out. But it was the right thing to do, and I have no regrets. Absolutely, that's that's good. That's interesting because I've talked to another great coach, Tom Osborne at Nebraska. The best. At, oh, he was something. And I said, "Why did you retire? You just won three national championships." He said, "Because I said that I would, and I didn't want to go back on my word, but I, I wanted to stay." So it was an interesting thing. Uh, Tom Osborne and Don James were best of friends. Interesting. Best of friends uh -huh. and great people. Yeah. Great people. Uh, that's, speaking of great people, I think we can put you in that category well, too. That, so. uh, because, you know, you retire from from coaching Mizzou, all-time winningest coach. You start up 
a foundation. Uh, I call it GP Made. It's GPMADE, right? Tell us about that. What do you do with that? Well, this is happened to me. I think it was about about two couple of years ago. Um, my wife Missy, who's you know everybody knows her down here, a remarkable do job she does with her magazine and how much she loves the community and everything. She just a couple of years ago. She looked at me. And went, just, I'm just drinking a cup of coffee, and she goes, "You okay?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm okay." She goes, "No, are you okay?" And I said, I miss my players. Now, let me pause here a moment because they drove me crazy a lot, too. Yeah, right. So this but isn't all just lovey-lovey. The love-hate you know? thing going on. But yeah. at the end of the day, because uh, how, we, how we ran our program, we had to win games. So you have to win games to be successful. But we did the right things for young men, okay? The values, accountability, responsibility. Just like a father would do that, you teach your, all your players that, and you're a part of that with them. And so... Um, I wasn't doing I, I wasn't doing anything. I mean, I don't care what I'm working. My foundation is great, but this isn't helping people. So that's when why don't you? She says, why don't you start a foundation to help kids? Bingo. That's what we're going to call. It. So we call it GP Maids, an acronym M A D E. Make a difference every day in the lives of kids. And so that's kind of where we went, and that's where we started raising money. I think we've raised, we've given out over one hundred fifty thousand dollars of grants within just a a little under two years. Wow. And 31 scholarships in the state of Missouri so far. And we're going to keep building and growing on that. And so, uh, you know, we've been, we've been very fortunate. And I got, a lot, again, a lot of good people around me working for me and being a part of this thing, too. That's amazing. Okay, so if people want to get some more information uh, about GPMADE, G-P-M-A-D-E, where would they find that information? Well, you can go online, gpmade.com. Uh, you can go there, uh, at Gary Pinkle, uh, at, at, at GP Made Foundation. Just, and and you'll, they'll take it right to there, and they could donate monies. And, you know, our, we, we, our, our, what we have, it's like three pillars. Mm -hmm. One is reflective of my life a little bit. One with uh, kids that have lymphoma or leukemia. This cancer's for kids. Well, well, I have cancer, so I'm kind of putting that in with there. We've done a lot of research, and research to anybody out there, research is everything. Yeah. And we're winning the battle, but research is so important, so you should feel very good if you do that. And then my, my sister, was in a brother and sister, sister older, brother younger, were in wheelchairs when they were reached adolescence. They had a disease called hereditary spastic paraplegia. I didn't get the disease. Huh. So we also have one of our pillars is to help kids with physical challenges. Okay, and there's many things we've done with grants and things like that. Um, Wonderland Camp here, right outside of here, what they do yeah. to help all these young kids be a part of something normal and ex in, in, the, in the excitement, enthusiasm with it, that's one of it. So that's one thing that we've done there with them too. And then the third thing is I've been about every home in, in, in type of home in the country, every major city recruiting in this whole nation. Yeah. And some kids have been brought up, you know, in, in extreme poverty and extreme, you know, phys challenging uh, environments. And so, you know, there's a lot of things. There's mentoring that goes with that. And that's the, the third pillar for us. That's mentoring for that. And then the other thing that is, is, is uh, we started a scholarship program. So we got 31 scholarships in the state of Missouri. And they're wow. renewable. So you hit, you hit your... Uh, you hit your academic goals, and then we're going to give it to you again the next year and the next year. And we're talking about graduating with these kids, just not go to school. Right. And so that can be an influence. And the last thing I'll say on this is when all my coaches came to work for me, and they understood if, if, if we, you bring a young man, we had a lot of young men, that nobody in the history of their family ever went to college. You bring a young man in here, and, and, he, and he earns his degree at the University of Missouri. He marries a gal at Mizzou. She has her degree. And then they have children. Their children get their degree, you can change a generation of family. Yeah. And that's, it does not get bigger than that. I get chills every time I talk about that. And, and that's what we did when we were here as a staff, and we're doing the same thing in our foundation. You're making a difference. Yeah, we're that, trying to. I tell you, that's about as cool as it gets. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We are talking with one of the most famous guys in the state of Missouri, Coach Gary Pinkle, all-time winningest football coach at Mizzou. And we'll have more with Coach right after this. Your car wants to look its best. The paint, the trim, the wheels, the tires, they want to show off in all of their sparkling glory. Let your car shine with the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For one low price, you can let your car strut its stuff anytime you want. Your car will thank you. Welcome to the club. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach, your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. 
with all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Discovered over a century and a half ago, Bridal Cave continues to amaze those who venture through it. As you tour through Bridal Cave, you'll see massive onyx formations, giant columns, and the one and only Mystery Lake. Bridal Cave's unique stalactite-adorned Bridal Chapel has provided a truly unique backdrop for over 3,000 couples from around the world. Bridal Cave is open daily, rain or shine. Guided tours leave every few minutes. Come explore the lake's favorite natural attraction. Explore Bridal Cave today. And welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show, where we are talking with Coach Gary Pinkle, very familiar face for the whole state of Missouri, and especially around the lake area. It's great, you know, we go out and we cover the Osage Indians or something like that, and by golly, there's Coach Pinkle right down there in the stands watching the game. Well, uh, my wife Missy's son, uh, Jace, uh, who's an all-state offensive lineman, you know, yeah. a great team player, a captain. Uh, just, just I, you know, love the guy and, and you know, respect him so much, and and so uh, you're part of the community. Yep. And I would not have had time to do that. Actually, I didn't have time to do that with my kids. Yeah. Because uh, because of, of the job that I had. Like you were saying, you were working 80 hours a week, uh, almost Lots. all year round. Right. That yeah. coaching. It's it's got the bittersweet thing to yes, it because it you know you love it you don't want to but you give your whole life to it yeah you do so uh, and we were talking about your foundation GP made um, and all the good that that does it tends to focus on children yes all of it yeah all, all those pillars I gave you it was people that up through eighteen years of old eighteen years of age yeah and that's where I wanted that because I miss taking care of kids yeah so that's kind of where you You're know, we're doing we're do, it's, it, and it's significant what we're doing it's, yeah. I mean this is this is we're not just passing popcorn out at something and doing something like that we're, we're we have a plan to help these kids and we're looking to give grants out we, you know we go we go, go on visits my team we go on visits to different places around the state yeah and and where we might be able to find the best ways to financially help the kids and and again we want to get 50 scholarships going and it's our goal. We, the scholarship thing we've only been doing two years. Also, we got 31 now. We want to get up in the 50s. So we're educating kids and you know doing the things we talked about. What do you need to help you take the next step in that to grow? I just think financially we need to continue to grow. You know we have a big big uh, uh, fundraiser. Uh, we had a golf outing. Uh, it's going to um, be in Old Hawthorne up in Columbia. That's mm -hmm. where I, I play. We have a place up there. And uh, it's a par three one. It's all sold out, really, to be honest with you. Nice. It's got a morning deal done and an afternoon. So we got it's all sold out. And we didn't even advertise it. It's back to back years. We had to adjust last year's because of this, which was the second one, uh, just because of all the stuff that was going on here. And uh, but that's that's a big fundraiser for us. Yeah. And uh, you know, people can just donate and be, you know, just just call up and be sponsors for, for us. And. Uh, you know, just give money if they want to, and they can go online to do that. So we talked to at GP Made or at Gary Pinkle, mm -hmm. and they could find that. And uh, and that's 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 a, a source for us. We're going to have one other thing. It's going to be a gala or something else that we're going to do. Have two events every year. Probably won't start it this year, but probably next year because we want to get back to a normal year yeah. with all the COVID things that are going Wouldn't on. Wouldn't that be nice? Do you do a lot of the stuff out of Columbia? Um, since I mean, that's kind of a home base since you were at Mizzou for so long. I'm guessing that is a good place for you to have a home base. Yeah, that's a home base. But we're you you know we were part of the uh, Lymphoma uh, Leukemia Society. Uh, we were part of their fundraising deal, which I think they they they'd raised like over five hundred thousand dollars in a in an event. Yeah. So we, they, we were at that, GPMA was at that, we were part of that whole thing right there. So we'll, we'll get into St. Louis, Kansas City, especially with the scholarships too. Yeah. But we also have a lot staying in central Missouri at the lake. Uh, we talked about Wonderland Camp. Yeah. Uh, uh, the learning center that they have in, in Jeff City is remarkable for kids that have physical and mental needs. It's, I went in there and spent some time and what they're doing to help these kids that live in about a three hour radius is absolutely incredible. So we're in search of helping kids. That's yeah. what we're doing. And um, again, I got a lot of good people around me too. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. So much more to Coach Gary Pinkle than most of us knew. GP Made is the name of his foundation. Go look it up, go online. Get some more information and help out if you can. Coach Pinkle, thank you so much for joining us here on Lake TV. Thanks for having me.